there or something. Christmas already, right now. How long have I... I mean, I've just been here for a few days. Oh, I cleared this up. Oh, nice. See on the secret door. Seems like I need to pick up something, so one of them is this key. Okay, and the other I don't know what it is. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. Closure? What does that mean? You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But... I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> what tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yep, I probably would never have said that either two days ago. Maybe once this whole thing is over, we could, uh... We? Me? We? You? Us? We'll see. It's sure gonna feel weird not to talk to you at least once a day. Same. Oh, hold and on a sec. Cute pie. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas! Good night, honey! Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. 
What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. Are there any matches scheduled for the local team? Uh, I'm afraid there is no local team. I remember they were talking about starting a Helena hockey team ten years ago. No team. Since when are you interested in hockey? Well, I played hockey when I lived here. Wow. You could even start playing again. Doubt it. Actually, my old stick should be around here somewhere. I'd like to take that back. I didn't see it in my room. Yeah, where's that clinking coming from? How do I follow the sound? It doesn't seem like it has any direction. I guess as, uh, uh, as it gets stronger. Oh. Yeah. I, I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh huh. I, I just. I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now, I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh. A sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right. I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What'd you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. I sense trouble already. And the voices. Oh, come on. Oh, you mean here? Oh, not here. Wow, the sound is so realistic. Maybe it's in the 117 room. Oh, 
Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting to play this kind of game. over there. I guess it's in the front hall. Not here, here. I don't understand where am I supposed to go oh the signal's going down seems to be down there I heard that sound again Oh, a little clue, please. The signal seems to be stronger over here. Yeah, it's stronger over here. Oh, it goes down. Nothing. I already checked this one already. Can I open it? No. So 
a radio being played somewhere. Oh, could it be downstairs? Oh, it could be downstairs. hoping for a regular adventure game but I guess this is too much to ask huh oh the signals is very strong here book maybe it's in the garage Why is the microphone turned on? Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. To image... Sometime. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Ooh. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Mm. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Oh, sure. Now what? Oh, day eight already. Uh, all right. How many days here am I supposed to be? Hmm. Wow, this is really creepy. But so far, there is no uh, appearance of.